While there is not enough time in the world for me to do an in-depth analysis of each song on this record, I will be now doing a rapid-fire reading of what I find to be each song's most interesting features from a musical or technical standpoint. So, here goes. One Ghosts One, Phrygian Scales and Droning Synths. Two Ghosts One, Piano in a Lydian Scale. Three Ghosts One, Guitar with slack strings bent up to random notes and used as percussion. Four Ghosts One. Electric guitar recorded unplugged as well as through an amp. Five Ghosts One. Baritone guitar reminiscent of a spaghetti western. Six Ghosts One. First use of marimba and or hammered percussion on the record, but there's plenty more where that came from. Seven Ghosts One. Phrygian dominant scale gone slightly hip hop. Eight Ghosts One. Oh my god, it's so loud. Nine Ghosts One. Dorian scales on a piano, and it is so damn pleasant. Ten Ghosts Two. Percussion sounds like a silverware drawer. Eleven Ghosts Two. Tritone guitar riff meets a small orchestra. Gentle chaos ensues. Twelve Ghosts Two. Beautiful, lazily tuned chromatic piano riff. Wait, 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 where did these drums and bass come from? Thirteen Ghosts Two. It's jazz, but it's low, and it's slow. Why is it so pretty? 14 Ghosts 2. Slide guitars from hell. 15 Ghosts 2. Whoa, man, what was in that pill you gave me? 16 Ghosts 2. Well, that certainly is a lot of sounds. 17 Ghosts 2. Return of the Marimba. Also, did you know that Lydian scales could be pretty rather than creepy? 18 Ghosts 2. This one flirts with the idea of being kind of happy, but it never quite makes up its mind. 19 Ghosts 3. I would love to hear someone rap over this. 20 Ghosts 3. Nobody expects the surprise rock outro. 21 Ghosts 3. How is this not a ringtone? Also, this outro should be in an original NES game. 22 Ghosts 3. Reminds me of Chariots of Fire, except darker and somebody's throwing around a pile of chains. 23 Ghosts 3. Almost certainly an intercepted alien radio communication. 24 Ghosts 3. Are you there, Paul Oakenfold? It's me, Trent. 25 Ghosts 3. FBI stakeout on the bayou. 26 Ghosts 3. Syncopation is fun, and so can you. 27 Ghosts 3. This is what a migraine sounds like. 28 Ghosts 4. Banjo isn't supposed to make me feel sad. But it did. 29 Ghosts 4. This is how Trent does funk. 30 Ghosts 4. Muted piano strings provide a lovely soundtrack for happily contemplating the eventual heat death of the universe. 31 Ghosts 4. He has to rip your face off with a wall of guitars at least once per record. It's in his contract. 32 Ghosts 4. Surprisingly happy. Makes me feel like I should be walking somewhere purposefully with a briefcase and a stack of manila folders. 33 Ghosts 4. The ghost of Year Zero soundscapes returned to walk the earth again, and literally nobody is angry about this. 34 Ghosts 4. Really pleasant guitar arrangement is unceremoniously interrupted by a slow methodical descent into a nightmarish hellscape. But there is some sort of orchestral wind section, so that's pretty rad, I guess. 35 Ghosts 4. Beats and sounds, as well as sounds and beats. And finally, 36 Ghosts 4. Hey, I have an idea. Let's tee the song up with a gorgeous but detuned piano part, and then let's add a bass guitar part to really up the energy, and let the listener know that shit's about to get real. Well, okay, then what happens? I don't know. Fuck it, let's just end it there. That way they can ponder the fleeting nature of life and stare blissfully into the void. Yep, sounds good. <laughs>